Hey, what's going on guys? We'll be doing a review for a, another product from a company called Zizu. Um, I did their solar power bank in one of their mice or something like that, I believe. And so this is actually an optical disk drive. Um, however, it is a CD writer, but not a DVD writer. So it reads and writes CDs, but it only reads DVDs. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, we'll actually go ahead and get into the box. Probably something that's good to do. So you see it's pretty well packaged. Um, shipping wise, it won't have any problems because it has the foam on the side, which is really, really nice to see. Um, you can definitely tell that it looks <clears throat> a lot like Apple's version of this drive. Apple Super Drive looks a ton like this. Um, so. They're definitely going for that design, however, it's a lot cheaper than Apple SuperDrive and initially, like, feeling this and comparing it to the SuperDrive, this is much, much cheaper. Apple's lead uses a kind of rubbery thing, but you can't compare a $100 SuperDrive to a $30 disk drive that looks similar. Maybe they're not going for that, however, it looks very, very similar to that, and so, you know, obviously they're probably going for it, however, maybe it's just an aluminum optical drive, and yeah, so... The benefit of having it as a USB rather than an internal optical drive, which is nice, I guess, but this will actually allow you to um, go around and plug this into any computer. It works on both Windows and Mac, and then you will be able to run discs off of there. Like I said, it does not write to DVDs, so if you're trying to burn movies or something, that will not work. However, CDs work perfectly fine. On their Amazon page, it says it does not support OS X 10 or above, which is really, really weird because Yosemite is 10.10.3, and so it says it doesn't support above 10.0, which was a really long time ago, so I don't know why they would still be selling this if that was the case, because it's like a super long time ago. However, this works perfectly fine on 10.10.3, which is Yosemite, and so it's saying it does not support OS X 10.0 and above, I don't know why they say that because it clearly does. Maybe they, it doesn't work on some version, like 10.9 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know why it says that on their Amazon page. However, this works perfectly fine on most versions of Mac that I've used it on. And I haven't tried it on Windows, but I assume it works perfectly fine over there because it says it supports it. So it probably works over there. And if it doesn't, I apologize. Um, one thing that you can initially see, we'll go ahead and zoom in. It's just it's kind of like it's aluminum theoretically but it's just kind of cheap like if you move this you can see like look how not good that is <laughs> this piece like isn't attached and so it like yeah I mean it looks like aluminum but this that's not aluminum I'm pretty sure that's plastic so it says it is aluminum um, maybe it's just supposed to look like aluminum it's not actually aluminum but I definitely get the idea that it's aluminum until you see this piece up here and that moving like this is just shows just how cheap it is um, it's I mean it's a $30 optical drive so you can get really really nice optical drives for $30 however not USB ones like internal ones you can get really nice ones for $30 and for $30 you get this plastic USB one that doesn't even um, write to DVDs so if is this worth your money I I don't know I mean if you like the design of it and it's decent and you're never going to write to DVDs then it's probably a worthwhile pickup it's a USB one I don't know if the pricing between USB and internal ones is significantly different because if that's the case then this is definitely a decent product however if they're the same then you can get a really really good internal optical drive for $30 like yeah, you can almost get a blu-ray one for $30 so I don't know why you would buy this one that can't even write to DVDs and supposedly doesn't support above OS X 10.0 however if you do like the design of it like I said and you are only writing to CDs and you're reading to CDs and you just kind of want a nice looking one that's on your desk and you don't want to pay $100 for the Apple one, this is definitely a worthwhile pickup. It works just fine, it didn't have any problems with discs getting stuck in it or anything, so you won't have that problem. However, there are definitely much better ones, like even from LG and Samsung, like theirs are around $25. This is more expensive than one from LG or Samsung, and it's from a company that is kind of not really heard of and it's really cheaply made. So overall, if you're looking for a DVD player and a CD reader and writer, I would personally look elsewhere. $28 is a little bit pricey for something that's this cheaply made and doesn't even write to DVDs. Um, you can get one from LG or Samsung for around $25, and I don't know why you'd go with a less known brand and that has less features and whatnot if you can get one for even cheaper that's better. So I personally wouldn't recommend this, but you can go ahead and pick this up if you're interested. The link will be in the description, as it always is. This has been Jordan for Jolt Reviews. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next review.